Well, ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to the Cattlemen's Congress. We are going to get started here momentarily with your open miniature Hereford show, as well as your belted Galloway show. At this time, if I could please have you all rise for a national anthem. Well, again, good morning and welcome to the Cattlemen's Congress. We are going to get started in ring two with your miniature Hereford Open Show. We'll be starting with Fall Junior Calves, born July to December of 2021.
We are going to get started with your Belted Galloway show over here in ring one. We will be bringing in class one. Well, good, mo good morning as we get started here in the miniature Hereford show. 
Sure, an honor to be sorting through the cattle of tremendous breeders. And I think we got an impressive one that leads off this particular class to get us warmed up this morning. Not only is she exquisite from the side as you study how her shoulder lays into her body, she's strong down her top. She's the best structured female that hits the ground, the most flawless in terms of her angles. Her past turns really like her body shape and her length. I guess the decision for me became uh, in second and third here, and I think there's trade-offs, particularly from a structural standpoint. The young man's heifer is just the bolder body. She's deeper through her rear rib and flank. She's one that I like the angle to her past turn. She gets out softer off her rear leg. She handles her hip and hind leg more appropriately. I'd sure like to see her more relaxed in her top, probably move a little better out of her front end. Really uh, long, muscular female here that's going to be third. I really like this and how fresh she is if you really study her. She's genuine in her body shape. Today when we put that female in motions where it kind of falls out of contention in my mind, she's a little straighter in her hind leg. I'd like to see her more flexible out of her hip and hind leg. From there we wind, round down the class. We have a young ladies that you like in terms of her moderation, her bold body type. She's big footed and heavy boned. Today, if you really compare her to the three above her, she's a little more coarse if you study her up through her head, neck, and throat. She's one that opens up just ever so slightly into her, into her shoulder. The next uh, young lady's female that comes out is one I like in terms of length and extension. She's one that I think is just greener in her build. You like her in terms of her structural base. A big, powerful female that's going to round out the class. You like her muscle shape down her top and out of her hip. Today, structural speaking, she needs to be better into the angle of her shoulder. She needs to be more comfortable out of her hip and hind leg. Really nice class with high quality one on top. Let's give them a hand. Well, congratulations over here in the miniature Hereford ring. We do have the results of your first class and division first place exhibited by Claire Christensen. Second place in reserve in that division exhibited by Lane White. Third place, Caden Alexander. Fourth place, Lake and Howard. Fifth place, Bailey Danson. And sixth place, Harley Holman. We're now going to bring in your next class. This will be class 2A over here in your miniature Hereford ring. We also have the results from your first class and division of Belty Galloways. First place in division champion was exhibited by Kyle and Emily Wilkerson. Second in reserve in that division, exhibited by Kylie Eckelman. And third in that division, exhibited by Carla Denton. Your judge this morning in ring one, Mr. Mitch Thomas of Raymondville, Texas. And your judge over here in ring two, Mr. Jeremy Leister of Stillwater, Oklahoma.
Well, another really good class over here in the Mini Hereford Show. Uh, a lot of different uh, types and kinds. And I guess as I rolled through it, the female that's going to lead off for the young lady is just a complete, sound, structured, best balanced female. She's the one you like in terms of her side view profile. She's the best in terms of her body shape. And when you stand in behind her, she's genuine and practical in terms of her base width to the ground. Really like this big ribbed, heavy boned female. She's big footed and she's a power cow of the class and I appreciate all that about her. She gets around and moves around the ring to me. She wants to open into her shoulder ever so slightly. She wants to drop her chest out of her. I'd like to lengthen her up to her front one third and I guess that's where it got a little tougher here between two and three. Really like this heifer in third from a sleekness standpoint. She's the long necked, flat shouldered female. I just struggle to find any real body shape if you study her to the bottom side of her belly. She's one that I'd like to sure power up when we stand in view her from behind. Another moderate, really wide based, muscular female. Just needs to put it in a better balance package in my mind. She's open through her shoulder, she's tight down her top. I'd like to see her more flexible out of her hip and hind leg. And then the uh, female that's going to round out the class is one that. I think gives up quite a bit in terms of performance. You really like her through her front one third. She's wanting to be a little ornery today and that's hard to get a real good read, but one that we just need to see more time, just a little greener in her build.
Well, congratulations over here in ring one. Your champion junior heifer calf exhibited by Terry and Julie Willis with Sunnybrook Rebel. And reserve champion was exhibited by Kyle and Emily Wilkerson. Another tremendous uh, class of miniature Herefords over here on, on this side and uh, led off by an extremely high quality, near flawless structured female. She's so flat into her shoulder, she's strong behind her shoulder and down her top. Really love how this one gets out and reaches out of her front end. Where she dominates the class for me is particularly out of her hip and hind leg. She's still functionally wide in terms of rib shape and muscle shape. To me, it became more challenging and the better bodied, better structured female particularly up front is here in second I like how bolder she is down her top if you study her rib shape she's functionally wider through her pins uh, really nice female here that's going to be third you like her moderation her type and kind she's kind of wanting to duck today and be a little harder to show she gets open into her shoulder she's a little shorter tying into her uh, from her neck to her shoulder from there this young lady has a really nice female from the side you like her in terms of her extension She's the freshest female in terms of how lean she is. Probably today just needs to be softer through her midrib and flank. We'd sure like to just see her functionally wider when we stand in behind her. Another nice long extended female that's going to round out the class, muscular in her own right. Today, structurally, she needs to be better in her shoulder, out of her hip and hind leg. Awfully nice class. Let's give them a round of applause. Well, congratulations in <clears throat> Class 2B. Results of Class 2B. First place was exhibited by Sutton Stelzer. Second place, Caden Fitch. Third place, exhibited by Lane White. Fourth place went to Devery Darbin. And fifth place, Leading Edge Genetics. <clears throat> We're now going to bring in your first and seconds here in this division, and our judge will select his champion and reserve. Let's give both our class winners a big hand out here as far as, and as long, as well as the respected seconds. Uh, I think if you kind of study this division, you see a type and kind. These females are elegant when you get off the side. They're good in terms of their structural base. They're still functional in terms of their body shape, practical in terms of width, but they have a balance and a look uh, that I think reaches out and grabs you. As, as you study both of them, I think they're at different stages of their show path in terms of how far along one is compared to the other. Um, you know, I, I think in terms of quality, I'm excited in terms of where we're going the rest of the day with these. Today, the female of the second class will be your champion. Let's give that young lady a nice hand.
And as we bring back that uh, high quality second place from that particular class that was really good in terms of her body shape, her foot and bone, I think there's one that matches up good, as I just said. Female from the first class will be a reserve. Let's give that young lady a nice hand. Well, congratulations in that last division here in your miniature Hertford show. Your champion exhibited by Sutton Stelzer with WCR STLZ Sky E03J -E and reserve champion also exhibited by Sutton Stelzer. Now in the ring is class 3A. Well, congratulations over here in your Belt and Galloway ring, the results of your junior heifer division. So this wasn't just her? It wasn't just her. Your champion was exhibited by Terry and Julie Willis with Sunnybrook Rose, and reserve champion was exhibited by Kaylee Eckelman with Sunnybrook Serenade. Now in the ring is class 12.
really nice class as we get started into some older females. And the one that wins, I think, is so unique in her build from the side. She ties her neck high into a point of her shoulder. She's really level down her top and out of her hip. Really like how wide she is when you get behind her. She's bold in her body type. Really good in terms of her structural base. To me, I like this female in second at the ground as good as any. She's so good in her joints. She's flexible in her pasterns. She really nice into her shoulder. I like to pull her out just ever so slightly into her fore rib. Maybe lay her tail head down into her just a little bit better. Really big footed, heavy bone, powerful female here in third. Appreciate all those things about her. She's good in terms of her body shape. She's functionally wide in terms of her pin width. Today, in terms of balance, I'd like to lengthen her out through her front one. One third, bring her up in her chest, tighten her into her shoulder. Really muscular, big top, thick ended type of female that's here uh, next, probably the heaviest bone female of the class. Today she needs to move better, particularly up front, needs to be laid in better at the point of her shoulder, more comfortable at her knee. A moderate, big ribbed female that's powerful in her own right, again structurally, I'd like to see her better into her shoulder. She needs to have more flex out of her hip and hind leg. Another long extended female as we round out the class, I think just gives up in terms of weight per day of age. She's just greener in her build. I encourage that lady to keep after her. Well, congratulations over here in the Belty Ring. Your champion is exhibited by Terry and Julie Willis with Sunnybrook Rebel. Back over. And your reserve champion is exhibited by Terry and Julie Willis with Sunnybrook Java. Congratulations to those exhibitors. Back over in your miniature Hereford ring, the results of Class 3A. First place, Sutton Stelzer with WCRSTLZ Bella D01J. Second place was exhibited by Dustin Font. Third place, exhibited by Mamie Jane's miniature Herefords. 
Fourth place exhibited by FADE Genetics. Fifth place, Lane White. And sixth place, Leading Edge Genetics. Now currently in the ring is class 3B. Well, smallest class that we've sorted through so far this morning in the miniature Hereford ring. And I think the quality is just as deep, if not as uh, deep of a class as we've seen today. So I think following the type and kind, if you really start at the ground, how functionally correct this female structural base is, particularly through her front one third. She's better in the angle to her shoulder. She hooks up better down her top behind her shoulder and through her hip. She's laid in better through her hip, her hip and hind leg as well as her tail head. Really robust built, big bodied, high volumed female here in second. She's heavier boned and bigger footed and I can appreciate all that. Today she doesn't get out with the same reach and flex out of her front end. She's a little more open to the point of her shoulder. I'd like to relax her into her top. And then the female that rounds out the class. Again, a high quality, highly presented one that I can appreciate all that about. She's good in terms of her front one third. She gives up quite a bit of mass and power and weight per day of age if you compare directly to the two ahead of her. Well, congratulations in Class 3B. First place exhibited by Kylan Oaks. Second place, Nick Stoner. And third place, Daylin Williams. Now bring in your first and seconds and select your division champions. Let's put our hands together for uh, these uh, class winners and respected seconds out here as we think through another division. Again, two females that are incredible in terms of their quality, their side view profile, and their structural base. I guess to me, it's one that probably puts it together in terms of body shape. She's better into her rear rib and flank. She's longer and leveler out of her hip and hind leg. Young lady out of the first class will have your champion. Let's give her a nice hand. Really nice females. We bring the second in from that class and a female that we remember back that was so good in terms of her angles and her joints. She's good structurally. You like her moderation and her body shape. I think one that follows type and kind in terms of structural base, length, and extension. The female of the second class will be your reserve. Let's give her a nice hand. Well, congratulations in that division over here in your miniature Hereford ring. Champion exhibited by Sutton Stelzer and reserve was exhibited by Kylan Oaks. We'll now bring in class 4A.
over here on the Miniature Hereford female show. I think there's three high quality females that I think if you really just break down and sort through them, this is a bigger class. I took a little longer on this particular one because I think all three of these have their advantages and they need to be looked at and given their proper due diligence. And I think the one that again, for me, puts it together in terms of her structural base, particularly the angle to her shoulder, the comfort at her knee. She's the best in terms of her top line and the loosest out of her hip and hind leg. She still combines this with adequate in terms of her body shape. I really like her width in terms of functionality when you stand in behind her. Another big, broody, soft-centered female coming up next. Again, one that I like, the angle to her shoulder. Today, I think where she sorts comfortably is a second in my mind, is particularly out of her hip and hind leg. She wants to duck her pins on the move. She needs to be square from hawk to ground. Really like the balance, the presence, and the high quality uh, presentation that this female has here in third and I can respect all those things. Today, she gets a little too upright in the angle to her shoulder. I'd like to see her softer through her rear and flank, move better out of her hip and hind leg, set her tail down ever so slightly. Another powerful, heavy bone, big-footed female, robust in terms of her body type. Today, she's a little coarse and thick. If you study her over her head, neck, and shoulder, she's a little shorter out of her hip. A really long, extended female that's just greener in her build if you really compare her. She's one that's sleek enough to her front one-third and flat enough in her shoulder. She just needs more time if you study her in terms of body shape and base width. Another really awfully high quality, really good presented one. She's flat shouldered. She's long out of her hip. She just needs opened out up from the ground up, opened up in terms of body shape. Dark red female that's coming next is again, she's big bodied and high volume. Just needs to put it together in a better balanced package. She needs to be raised in her chest, better out of her hip and hind leg. Big class, good ones on top. Let's give them a hand. Well, congratulations over here in your miniature Hereford ring. First place in Class 4A exhibited by Colton Christensen. Second place, Riley Barber. Third place, Scarlett Edwards. Fourth place, went to KP Ranch. Fifth place, Hannah Hogan. Sixth place, Cadence Yuri. And seventh place, Haven Sandstrom. Now in the ring is Class 4B. And over here in your belt to Galloway ring, your grand champion bull went to Sunnybrook girth with Terry and Julie Willis. And reserve champion was Ackleman's Washington. Your grand champion steer over here in the belted Galloway ring, Kyle and Emily Wilkerson with QEZE. And reserve champion was exhibited by Dawson and Barbara Masters.
in this next class. Uh, two uh, high quality females up here on the top that I think are different in their type and kind and that's probably what led to a little longer in my decision making and I think the type and kind and structural base that the young lady leads out with is one that I've committed to in terms of her body shape. She's good in terms of the angle of her shoulder. She moves better out of her hip and hind legs. She's particularly square from hawk to ground. You really like her in terms of her shape down her top. A really moderate female that's big footed. I do like her body shape, particularly out of her fore rib. She maintains that back into a soft rear rib and flank. Today it's when we set the cattle in motion that she needs to be picked up through her pins. She needs to be square from hock to ground and wider based if you really study her from behind. Another robust muscular female here in third. I really like how practical she is in terms of her base width. Today she falls out from a balanced perspective. She needs a toe ahead truer. She needs to be cleaner through her chest in relation to to her front flank. Another nice female that comes in next, one that I like in terms of her body shape. She's one that's big top. She's wide out of her pins. Gives up in terms of structural integrity in my mind. I'd like to see her better into the angle of her shoulder. Then we round out the class with another big bodied, broody sh shaped cow, uh, the dark red female. She's really good in terms of her body shape, particularly through her center body. Today she's too open to her shoulder. She's deeper through her chest. Needs to be leaned up quite a bit. Well, congratulations in Class 4B. First place exhibited by Jordan Bertram. Second place went to Teos Heck. Third place, Mamie Jane's Miniature Herefords. Fourth place, Emmy K. Barato. And fifth place in that class exhibited by Julie Sandstrom. We're now going to bring in your first and seconds and select a division champion reserve. Let's put our hands together again for our class winners and seconds as we're getting ready to pick another division. Again, I, I like the type and kind of all four females that are out here. I think that if we don't go back through and talk each one, there's one out here that kind of conforms to what we've been doing today in terms of just a functionally correct structural base, a practical body type with some exquisite balance and profile from the side. Young lady out of class one will be your champion. Let's give her a big hand. As we think through our reserve, uh, I think that it becomes a closer race in my mind because you have two females that are different in their type and kind. They both offer positives on different sides of the coin. In all honesty, you have the female that was second in to our division champion that's bolder bodied. She's bigger ribbed. I like her foot and bone. She's softer when you get off to view her from the side. Then you have the female that uh, won that second class. You like her elegance and her profile from the side. She's better out of her hip and hind legs leg probably doesn't just have the overall mass and the power as the female right ahead of her. Today I'm going to go with the darker red female to be reserved. Let's give her a hand.
Well, congratulations, your division champion goes back number 80, 39, Colton Christensen, and reserve will go to back number 840, Riley Barber. Now bring in class five over here in the miniature Hereford show.
another really nice class and uh, taking nothing away from the female in third I think it's awfully close up here on top uh, again with two females that are sure enough different in their type and kind there are different stages of the path of their game it looks to me like and the young lady that wins this class you really like her balance from the side her shoulder angle she's strong down her top I like her out of her hip and hind leg she's a bigger scaled longer outline female that you like her when she gets out in strides really like the body shape, the foot and bone of this female that's going to go in second. She's moderate in her type and kind. She is better bodied if you really study her through the, her rear rib and flank. To me, she wants to get a little deeper into her chest and open to her shoulder. I'd like to set her down into her tail head when she's on the profile, strengthen her hip and hind leg. Another moderate, just brood cow prospect here in third. Again, she's functionally wide from the ground up. Today, she falls out considerably from a structural standpoint particularly out of her hip and hind leg. The young man brings a really nice female you like in terms of shape and power. If you study her muscle shape, she's one you like her length through her front end and down her top. Today, she needs to be set square from hawk to ground, more level out of her hip and hind leg. Another high quality, highly presented one that the young lady brings, she's elegant through her front one third. Today, she gives up a quite a bit in terms of mass and power when I stand in behind the cattle. Another female that comes that you you really like her brood cow power. She's wide based and heavy boned. She needs to put it together in a better balanced package in my mind if you look up through her front end, particularly through her shoulder and chest. And then the young lady that runs out the class is one that we like in terms of how big ribbed and high volume this female is. Structurally speaking, I'd like to see her better out of her hip and hind leg square from hawk to ground. Big good class. Let's give them a big hand. Well, congratulations. Your division champion is Cameron Oaks. Reserve will go to Lucy Carmen. Third in that class, Emmy K. Barato. Fourth place, KP Ranch. Fifth place, Cadence Yuri. Sixth place, Holly Schaefer. And seventh place, Julie Sandstrom. We'll now bring in class 6A. These will be fall intermediate heifers.
Well, what an exceptionally high quality uh, set of four animals out here in the miniature Hereford female show. And I think it's led off by one that, uh, again, is highly presented, which I can respect. One that I, this is the best balance. She's the best structured female. And she combines this with being the boldest bodied. She's still really set far apart at her pen. She's big footed and heavy boned. You appreciate, compared to the other three, how fresh she is in her look, how good she gets out and moves around the ring. The other female that's big bodied and muscular in her own rights and second. Today she gives up quite a bit in balance if you study her from the side. She's not as soft to her rear and flank. She probably needs to be laid back better at the angle of her shoulder. The next young lady that brings one out is one that's really broody in her appearance. She's uh, expresses an immense amount of cow power from a body shape standpoint. She's functionally wide from the ground up. Today I'd like to see her neater into her shoulder longer and more refined through her head and neck. Then we round out the class with a female that's ultra big body. She's ultra moderate in her type and kind. Probably needs to, again, be leaner if we really study her compared to the three ahead of her. She needs to be better into her shoulder out of her hip and hind leg. Four awfully good ones. Let's give them a big hand.
Another good class here. Two tremendously high quality females as we lead off. And, and the one that's going to start is the freshest, is most genuine if you really study her, particularly up through her head, neck, and chest. She's one that's best in terms of her shoulder. I like her body shape, her pin width. She gets out and moves appropriate when you set her into motion. Big, broody power cow here in second. One that you like in terms of her body shape and her muscle shape when you stand in to view her from behind. She's one that we like like her in terms of her angles at the ground. Today she falls out in my mind just from a condition standpoint. She's thicker over the top of her neck. She's deeper into her chest. We'd like to see her just a shot better in terms of shape over a ribbon loin. Another dark red female that you like from the side. She gives up quite a bit in power in terms of her body shape, really as you study her back into her pins and through her stifle. And then the uh, next female that's going to round out the class is moderate in her type and kind comparatively. Today, structurally, she needs to be better out of her hip and hind leg, set neater into her tail. As we're moving through another division, let's put our hands together for the four exhibitors out here with a set of high-quality cattle. Uh, I think this has been one of the most challenging divisions if you really study the classes and then you get both winners out here. Uh, it's not that they're different in their type and kind. Again, they're just, to me, at different stages of the path uh, the, of the show road, in, in all honesty. And the, and the female from the first class is one that I like in terms of her quality, her presence from the side. She's one that is more elegant through her front one-third and better into her shoulder. You still like her out of her hip and hind legs. She probably doesn't have all the body shape if you study her fore rib through her flank as the one directly behind her, and I think those are the trade-offs. To me, I think that uh, there's enough good in terms of her structural integrity, her presence, and her balance. The female of the first class will be your champion of this division.
Well, congratulations in that division. Your champion, exhibited by Teos Heck and reserved to Kenyon Lee Dobbs. We'll now bring in Class 7A in here in your miniature Herford show. A little smaller class as we're moving into the older females here. The miniature Hereford female show. And the conservative Mark Dark Red female, I think, wins this class pretty handily in my mind from a structural standpoint. She's the best in the angle of her shoulder. She handles her hip and hind leg the truest. She's still good in terms of her tail head set. You like her body shape and her practicality. Uh, young man brings a really nice female that, again, if you study her in terms of her functional base width, she's wide from the ground up. She's muscular down her top and out of her hip. Today, I'd like to see her laid in neater about her shoulder, more comfortable in her spine as she sets out in, on, in motion. And then we round out the class with a female that, again, I like her type and kind from a length and extension standpoint. She's one that gives up quite a bit of mass and power and weight per day of age if you study her to the females ahead of her.
What a pair of tremendously high quality females that lead off this particular class. And young man that goes ahead and wins does so. This female, I like her in terms of her body shape. She's the truest and the boldest down her top and out of her hip. She handles her hind leg appropriately. And today, I think she settles in. She's square from hawk to ground. She's leveler from hooks to pins. She sets her tail in and head into her nice. A really moderate, uh, typey female that's going to be here in second. She's flat shouldered. And you like the way her neck sets into her shoulder. From there, I'd like to see her more opened up into her heart, softer through her rear and flank, and I'd sure like to see her go better out of her hip and hind leg. The female here in third is one that I, like, I appreciate from a body shape and volume standpoint. She's one that's super big out of her pins. From there, she flattens and funnels to the base of her stifle. She gets closed up underneath if you really study her in terms of true width. And the next female that comes out is one that, again, is ultra big bodied, ultra powerful in terms of foot size and bone work. Today, she needs to handle it better structurally. I'd like to see her better her into the angle of her shoulder, leaner in her condition, more comfortable out of her hip and hind leg. And as we round out the class with another moderate female in her type and kind, she needs to handle her hind leg more appropriately, be softer at her pasterns at the ground. Nice class, two exceptional ones on top. As I swiftly move through this class, uh, again, just two in it, but I think two are awfully good representations for this breed. And I think the uh, big feathered, loud mark female that wins is just so elegant through her front one third. She's big in her kind. She's bold in her body shape. She's good in terms of her structural base. She really like how she handles her hip and hind leg on the move. A more moderate, bigger bodied female that's going to be here in, in second. And I appreciate all those things about her. She's functionally wide from the ground up. Today she falls out if you really study her through her hip and hind leg. I'd like to see her better in terms of her shoulder. Two awfully good ones. Let's give both those young ladies a nice hand.
Let's put our hands together for all six of these females out here. Uh, what an incredible division as we start with the first class of this division, a dark red female that we liked in terms of her body shape at the ground. She's big footed and heavy boned. She's got some functional width when you stand in to view her from behind. And then the uh, female of the next class is one that I really like from a side view profile. She's so fresh and genuine in her look. She's still got some practical body shape if you stand in behind her. She's functionally wide at her pins, you like her bone work and her structural integrity. And then an exquisitely high quality one here from the third class. You like this one's shoulder, neck, and chest. She's so long and strong down her top and out of her hip. She's good in terms of her hind leg. You like her body shape and her structural base. I think there's two high quality ones in here. Uh, the female out of the third class will be your champion of this division, followed by the young man ahead of her for reserve. Let's give them a big hand to awfully nice females. Well, congratulations. In that division, your champion will go to Brooke Foss and reserve to Keller Oaks. We're now going to bring in Class 8 Spring Intermediate Heifers, born April to June of 2020.
Another really good class, uh, anchored by an awfully high quality female uh, that's at the furthest stage of the game probably in terms of her show road. Uh, this is a broody, phenomenal bodied female that you like in terms of her functionality. She's practical in terms of her structural base. She gets out and moves really good out of her shoulder, out of her hip and hind leg for that much mass and power in the center part of her body. I don't want to take nothing away from a female here in second because I appreciate how genuine she she is in her look. She's fresh through her front one third. She's good in her body type. Probably to me, she needs a toe ahead truer. I'd like to see her square from hawk to ground. Another big outline, long sided, extended female that's heavy bone that comes next. Probably today, in terms of my mind, she needs to be smoother and more relaxed down her top. She needs to move better out of her hip and hind leg. Same can be said for the female that comes out next for the young man. Uh, that's a big power cow in terms of her broodiness uh, from a body body shape standpoint. She's set functionally wide at her pins. She has some muscle shape from behind. Today, she's pushing a little excess in terms of her condition. If you study her through her chest and her shoulder, needs to move better out of her hip. Uh, the next young lady that comes, one that, again, is probably moderate in her type and kind, and she's wide-based and heavy-muscled. Today, she needs to move better up front. She needs to be better into the angle of her shoulder, more comfortable at her knee. And then the female that rounds out the class is one that I appreciate uh, in terms of her leanness through her front one third and how strong she is down her top. Today she gives up quite a bit in body shape. She needs to be wider when we stand in behind the cattle. Another smaller class, uh, miniature Hereford females, uh, again, led off by an exceptional female in her own right as they get to this stage of the game and they're so that fresh and genuine in their makeup. They're ones that get out and move really good out of their front end. She's nice out of her hip and hind leg. You like her body shape. She's presented exceptional, in which I appreciate. The next young fem uh, young lady's female that comes out is one that I think is moderate in her type and kind. She's bold in terms of the center part of her body. She's heavy 
enough bone, probably one that falls out, particularly from a balance standpoint. If you study her through a rear rib and flank, we'd like to see her square from hawk to ground. And then the female that rounds out the class is one that's got some length aside. She's got some extension, and you appreciate how flat-shouldered she is. With that, she needs to be better into the angle of her shoulder. She struggles out of her hip and hind leg. Well, congratulations in Class 9A. First place exhibited by Canyon Lee Dops. Second place exhibited by Emmy K. Barato. And third place, Jaylee Kelso. We're now going to bring in Class 9B, Winter Intermediate Heifers, born January to March of 2020. A ring eye, dark uh, red heifer that leads off this class, uh, wins in my mind pretty handily. If you just study how fresh and genuine she is, she's the better fronted, sounder moving female. Combines this with an abundance of rib shape. She's powerful when you stand in to view her from behind. Another big footed, heavy bone female that's going to be here in second. She opens up the best in terms of her fore rib. She's still the widest down her top. She needs to move more appropriately out of her hip and hind leg and be square from hawk to ground to uh, rival the one in first. As we, round, as we get into third, a female that we like in terms of her base width and her body shape, today she needs to be better into the angle of her shoulder, move better out of her hip and hind leg. And then the young man's female that rounds out the class today, one that's ultra long-sided. She has some length down her top and out of her hip. Today she needs to be softer through the middle part of her body. She needs to be more comfortable and relaxed in the angle of her shoulder.
Congratulations in class 9B. First place was exhibited by Oakley DeWitt. Second place, Leading Edge Genetics. Third place was exhibited by Paisley Vaughn. And fourth place, Kate Robertson. We're now going to bring those first and seconds in and select champion reserve in this division. Let's put our hands together for another uh, division of first and seconds out here as we're getting later into the miniature Hereford female show. And if you talk about the female out of the first class of this predic particular division, she's one that wows you in terms of her cow power. I mean, from the ground up, she's big footed, she's heavy bone, she's robust in her body type. You like how square she is out of her hip. She's functionally wide from the ground up, still has some muscle shape. Maybe one that we'd like to see just a nickel leaner if we compare to the one directly behind her, maybe just a little flatter in terms of her shoulder, longer over the top of her neck. Goggle eye, dark red female, again, she's genuine. What you see is what you get. She's flatter haired. She's fresher if you really study her through her head, neck, and chest. She's one that blends this with a body type. She's square down her top. She's good in terms of her hip and hind leg set. I think there's tremendous amount of trade-offs and where your personal priorities lie. I think today with the type and kind that I've been picking, the fresh, genuine female is going to be your champion of this particular division, followed by the female for reserve out of the first class. Well, congratulations in that division. Your champion exhibited by Oakley DeWitt and reserve exhibited by Canyon Lee Dobbs. We're now going to bring in class 10 senior yearlings. A young lady brings a single entry uh, that I respectfully mean could uh, stand more competition. And, and this young lady does an exceptional job showing this female, and she's highly presented. In terms of uh, what you see, she's a flat-shouldered, long-striding, functionally correct female. She blends good into her body type. She's soft through her urban flank. As we get into older females, she's still developing a little bit of an udder, and so that tells me that she's close into production, and we can appreciate that uh, about uh, developing 
developing some production agriculture in these young people. But let's give this young lady a nice hand on an exceptionally uh, good class winner. Congratulations, your division champion is exhibited by Devery Darvin with RCM Miss Carly. When I bring in class 11, these are cow-calf pairs born before, before September of 2019. As we've uh, set some of these females in production, we got two bull calf pairs out here. Uh, both the cows are tremendous. Uh, the female that leads off is one that's moderate in her type and kind. She's bold bodied, she's big pinned, she's heavy boned, and I think her, her greatest factor is this bull calf standing out here from a balanced perspective. He's the best balanced, he's the biggest bodied, stoutest made, and the heaviest boned. And I don't want to take nothing away from the wide feathered female that's going to be here in second. She too is moderate in her type and kind. I just like to see more rib shape, uh, particularly down her top. Uh, she needs more shape when we stand in behind her. Really nice bull calf from the side. He's flat shouldered and he's long out of his hip. Let's give both those exhibitors a nice round of applause. Well, congratulations in that division. Your champion will go to Dalen Williams and reserve to Bailey Danson. At this time, we are going to bring in all of your division champion and reserves, and I'll, our judge will be selecting his grand and reserve grand champion female.
Well, I'd like to uh, first start by uh, let's give all these exhibitors and breeders a big hand out here. Uh, if you're if you're not impressed by the lineup that started from the first division all the way down here to the end and and somewhat what I would call a a new hot breed, uh, then, then I I don't know that you can get very excited about the cattle business, and I sincerely mean that. I, I'm honored to stand here in front of people that have built these cattle as good as they have and. You guys are wanting to know my opinion. Uh, it's something that I take very seriously and, and I appreciate. Uh, I, lo I love the cattle business and I love getting to sort through shows. And as you can tell out here, there's a lot of young people and, and I'm passionate about that. And probably really figured that out whenever I first had my, uh, my first daughter and we're going to have another one here in April. And so uh, there's nothing better than uh, kids that want to do this and, and be involved in it. I'm a, I'm a product of this ring. Uh, uh, getting to show cattle in Missouri, and so uh, I, I think this is exceptional, and I can't say enough uh, good things about uh, how high quality this set of cattle is, and as breeders and exhibitors and people that are enthusiasts for this breed, you should be proud of what you have out here in front of you. As far as the cattle go, I, I'm not going to tell you that every type and kind is the same from the division to division. I think that they still follow the same uh, system. They're practical and functional in their structural base. They still got some body shape and some real world uh, look to them. They have a balance and a presence out here in the show ring. Uh, but I think as we start at the ground that they're all functionally correct. They're all good in terms of their balance, and I guess those are the kind of cattle that uh, we strive to raise at the Pure Bed Beef Cattle Center, and I think everybody strives to raise out here in their business. So I'm going to take another look and go show you the one that I think puts it all together the most for me. Why don't you put your hands together for this set of division champions and reserves? And congratulations, your grand champion miniature Hereford, exhibited by Sutton Stelzer with WCR STLZ HF Sky E03J. Well, again, as we got more cattle to sort through, just make some more general comments. Uh, just I think as we bring that uh, reserve division in, it, it doesn't hurt the lineup at all. And uh, it's been an honor and a privilege, and I know we got some more to get through. But uh, I humbly uh, accept uh, to get to judge shows, and I appreciate the opportunity from the Cattlemen's Congress and the association. So I think there's one that follows uh, the one we just had for reserve pretty well. Um, I'll go show you which one that is.
Well, again, congratulations to our many Hereford exhibitors. Your champion was exhibited by Sutton Stelzer and reserve exhibited by Brooke Fuss. We are taking a brief photo break. We will return back with your miniature Hereford Bull Show.
Well, we are ready to get started with your miniature Hereford Bull show. We'll be looking for class 12 first in the ring. A young lady brings a really high quality single entry bull calf as we get the bull show started. Uh, this rascal from the ground up, he's big footed and heavy bone. He has some semblance of muscle as you study him down his top and out of his hip. He's built wide from stifle to stifle, still appropriate enough in his balance and his look from the side. Let's give her a big hand as we get started here in the bull show. Well, congratulations in your first division here in our bull show. Your champion goes to Dylan Howard with LRH Champ. We're now bringing class 13.
A trio of bull calves here that are uh, that's led off by a really high quality, good balance, good structured bull. One that's advanced in his testicular development. He's bold in his body type. He's big footed and heavy boned. You like him in terms of the angle to his shoulder, how flat shouldered he is. He gets around the ring really impeccable. Really a nice, moderate, big ribs, stout made bull here that's in second. I like how muscular he is down his top and out of his hip. Today he gives up quite a bit in terms of uh, mass. If you study his lower body, in terms he's a little frailer in his bone and footwork. We round out the class with another big bodied, wide based one. Probably today he needs to move a little better in terms of his structural base, particularly out of his hip and hind leg. Well, congratulations. In class 13, first place was exhibited by Mamie Jane's miniature Herefords. Second place went to Jordan. Bertram and third place in that class exhibited by Bailey Danson. Now in the ring is class 14 here in the miniature Herford show. Again, as uh, we're getting started here in the Bull Show, two high-quality uh, individuals uh, in this particular class, led off by one that I think wins this class quite handily. Not only do you study his base width and his power from the ground up, you like his top shape down his top and out of his hip. He's good in terms of his body shape. He's really good in terms of his structure, particularly out of his front one-third, advanced in terms of his testicular development. A dark red-necked bull here that's moderate in his type and kind, and he's one that I can appreciate his width all the way through. Today, to me, he gets a little flatter into his forerib. He needs to be softer through his rear rib and flank. Two nice ones. Let's give him a hand. Well, congratulations in that division. Your champion will go to Jamie Taylor and reserve to Dalen Williams. 
Next class in Division in will be Class 15, Early Spring Bull Calves, born March of 2021. Another exceptional class, uh, a bigger class than we've judged so far in the Bull Show. And the Horn Bull that we lead off with does so in terms of at the ground, in terms of his structural integrity. He's the best in terms of the angle to his shoulder. He hits the surface, the softest on his rear pasture. And he's still muscular and really wide if you really study him. He balances up really good from his shoulder back into his fore rib, back to his rear rib and flank. Really a nice uh, bull prospect young lady. I really like this big ribbed robot bus-bodied uh, bull here in second. He's stout when you study him down his top and out of his hip from the ground up. He's big-footed and heavier bone. Today, I'd like to see him go better out of his hip and hind leg. He needs to be square from hawk to ground, more comfortable in his pasture. Really like the length and extension of this bull coming in third. He's long-spined. I think he just needs a little more time. He's a greener in his build. If you study him into his forerib, he needs more softness back through his rear rib and flank. The bull here in fourth is one that's moderate in his type and kind and I can appreciate his muscle shape. Today he needs to move softer at the ground in his pastures. And then we round out the class with a bull that's long and extended, just gives up plenty of mass and power and weight per day of age. 
Well, congratulations in class 15, first place exhibited by Macy Roberts, second place Dustin Font, third place Jamie Taylor, fourth place Mamie Jane's miniature Herefords, and fifth place Emmy Kate Barato. We'll now bring in class 16. Just a single entry that still has a lot of quality in my mind. This is an athletic, rugged, masculine looking bull that's long strided. You appreciate the shape he has down his top. You stand in but viewing by behind. He's built wide from stifle to stifle. He's further along his testicular development. That young man has a good bull. Let's give him a round of applause. Again, uh, two high quality uh, bull prospects here and the young lady in the green shirt that leads out wins this class, I think from a structural standpoint. This rascal's laid in better about his shoulder. He moves freer out of his hip and hind leg. He's still good in terms of his body shape. He's rugged in his look. He's more advanced in his testicular development. Taking nothing away from the red-necked bull. This guy's powerful from the ground up. He's big-footed and heavy-boned. He's built wide from stifle to stifle. Today, I'd like to make him more relaxed in the angle of his shoulder, move him out freer in his hip and hind leg. Two awfully good ones. Let's give him a round of applause. Congratulations. Your division champion exhibited by Hadley Geiger and reserve goes to Cameron Oaks. We'll now bring in Class 18 Spring Intermediate Bulls, born April to June of 2020.
Well, my hat's off to the exhibitors as you get into the older bulls. Uh, I know that uh, we not very many people take a big string of bulls anymore. It's a little harder as they ought to be out doing their job. But I think the one that puts uh, the most good things together is the complete, sound-structured, well-balanced bull is the one that we're going to lead off with. He's the most opened up into his fore rib. He's the softest through his rear rib and flank. He handles his hip and hind leg the most appropriately with as much mass and power as he has. Today, to me, the decision became uh, second and third, and I'm going to go with the other powerful, well-built bull that's just better balanced if you study him through his check chest. He's softer through his rear rib and flank. He's longer and more level out of his hip. really like the power of this bull that's going to round out the class in terms of down his top and out of his hip today. I'd like to see him move freer, particularly at the ground in terms of his pastern. Well, congratulations in that division. Your champion exhibited by Emmy K. Barato with MCC Ben Dover Stud Muffin. Reserve champion goes to Hannah Hogan. And third, Mamie Jane's Miniature Herefords. We're not bringing Class 19. This will be Winter Intermediate Bulls. Another pair of bulls that are similar in their type and kind from a muscle shape and, and practical width perspective. But I think today's structure is what sorts the pair in my mind, particularly if you study this bull that's going to lead off through his shoulder. He's more relaxed and comfortable down to his knee. He moves out better out of his hip and hind leg. He's a softer center, deeper uh, bull as you really study him from the side. Another ultra muscular bull here in second from the ground up. I appreciate his power, his ruggedness. Today I'd like to see him move square from hawk to ground. Well, congratulations in Class 19. First place went to Julie Sandstrom with SHF Smoking Joe E.T. And second also to Julie Sandstrom. We'll now bring in Class 20 Senior Yearling Bulls, born January to December of 2019. As we get into our oldest division, a uh, stout, powerful, sound-structured rascal that gets out there. He really gets out and reaches out of his front end. He's a big-bodied, powerful bull. Do you like how he handles his hip and hind leg? He's fur enough along his testicular development.
two really nice class winners out here as we pick our oldest division. Uh, I think that uh, we talked to him just a minute ago, but I think the one out here that handles the mass and power with the balance and the look is the oldest bull. He'll be your champion today, followed by the young ladies for reserve. Congratulations, your champion in that division. We'll go to back number 8129, and reserve will go to back number 8126. At this time, we are going to bring in all of your division champion and reserves here in our miniature Hereford Bull Show, and our judge will select his champion reserve. Followed by this, we will go directly into the prospect steer show, followed by the progress steer show. Let's put our hands together for all our bull exhibitors out here. Uh, I know we didn't have the numbers, but it's still, I think the quality needs to be commended to this set of exhibitors and breeders. And if you're serious about this business, in particular the miniature Hereford breed, and you find one out here, I, I encourage you to go talk to the, the breeder or the exhibitor and, and get involved in this business because I think that they're making, they're moving mountains in terms of the quality, and you can see it as evident in the female show and, and dang sure out here in the bull show. So so for, for the sake of time, I'm going to swiftly move through this. Uh, I think it's been a heck of a show. I know we got some steers left to judge. So I'll go show you the ones that I like the best. Let's put our hands together for them. Well, congratulations, your grand champion, Minister Hereford Bull, CK Livewire 913ET, exhibited by Dustin Font.
And congratulations, your grand, your reserve grand champion, miniature Hereford Bull, exhibited by Hadley Geiger with GF Chief 11B1H. Congratulations to those exhibitors. We're now going to go right into your prospects to your show. We'll be looking for class 21A. What a tremendous way to start off the prospect steer show. Uh, none other than this young man's a uh, high quality prospect steer. Uh, from, from the side of balance, uh, he's exquisite through his shoulder. How his neck ties into his shoulder. He's still muscular down his top and out of his hip. He gets there on the ring, the soundest in my mind, with an impeccable amount of body shape. Let's give that young man a big round of applause. The young lady that's going to come second has a bigger footed, heavier bone calf, and I appreciate that about him. He's one that's really bold in his body type. Today, comparatively, in a, top, in a close top pair, I'd like to see him just wider from stifle to stifle, square from hawk to ground. And then the calf that rounds out the class is one we like, his length and extension. He gives up in terms of mass and power if you study the two ahead of him. Three awfully good ones. Let's give them a big hand. Well, congratulations in our first class of Prospect Steers. First place exhibited by Cale Pearson. Second place, Harlow Driscoll. And third to Harley Holman. We now bring in your second class and final class of Prospect Steers.
Another exceptionally good pair of uh, prospect steers here. And the young lady that leads off this class, much like the last one, he's the sound structured, smooth shouldered calf that's still the stoutest. If you study his true shape down his top and out of his hip, he's the most correct in terms of his hip and hind leg when he's asked to move. Taking nothing away from another long sided, big outlined, extended calf that's here in second. I think he's just greener in his build if you study him into his shape through his fore rib, back to his rear rib and flank. Two nice calves. Let's give both those young ladies a big hand. Well, congratulations in your second class of Prospect Steers. First place was exhibited by Devery Darbin, and second place, Adeline Jackson. We're now going to bring those first and seconds in, and your judge will select his grand and reserve grand champion Prospect Steer. Let's give our four exhibitors out here a big hand. Uh, uh, I know we didn't have the numbers in the prospect show, and as we think through it, I think you look at two class winners out here that are built similar in their type and kind. They're really high quality, good type of show cattle. They're structurally correct. They got some body shape and muscle shape. I think there's one that takes it to a next level from a balance and structure standpoint. Young ladies will be your champion today. Let's give her a big round of applause. Congratulations, your champion prospect steer exhibited by Devery Darbin with Ramsey's Buster. And your cha reserve champion exhibited by Kale Pearson with KAP Fletcher Farmer. Congratulations to those two exhibitors. We'll now go right into your market steer division be starting with class 22.
An excellent way to start it off, the progress show. Uh, this young lady's uh, calf that wins this particular class does so on his balance and structure from the ground up. He's the bigger footed, heavier bone calf. He's still the uh, truest in the form of shape out of the backside of his shoulder, down his top and out of his hip. Really like how he handles his hip and nine leg as you study him. He's the better balanced calf that's cleaner into his chest and you like him from rear rib to flank. Uh, really moderate, big ribbed, high volume calf here in second. I appreciate all those things about him. Today he's wanting to get a little open in terms of his shoulder. We'd like to see him move square from hawk to ground. Really like the balance and extension of this calf in third. You get on the side, you can appreciate a lot of things about him. Today he gives up plenty in terms of mass and power if you study him in terms of base width and muscle shape. And then we round out the class again with a deep sided practical appearing type of calf that just gets too upright and the angle to his shoulder he needs to move better uh, particularly from hawk to ground. Well, congratulations in your first class of market steers. First place was exhibited by Harley Holman. Second, Hadley Geiger. Third place, Dalen Williams. And fourth place, Kate Robertson. We'll now bring in class 23 here in your market steer show. Well, here in our next uh, class of progress steers, uh, the young lady brings an exceptionally high quality, uh, stout made, heavy muscled, good structured one. He's the best in terms of his balance. If you study his body type, he opens up the nicest into his forerib. He's big down his top and wide over his loin. Appreciate a lot of things about that calf. The calf here in second from the ground up. He's big footed, he's burly legged, and I appreciate that. He's one that I really like in terms of shape down his top, particularly out of the backside of his shoulder. Today I'd like to see him handle his hip and hind leg a shot better, be softer back into his rear and flank. A more moderate, practical, easy doing uh, type of 
type of calf that comes in here next. He's one that's deep sided, and I appreciate that. Comparatively, from a balance standpoint, he's plenty deep enough through his chest. We'd like to see a little more shape down his top. And then we round out the uh, class with a calf that's ultra muscular, particularly out of his hip. And when you stand into viewing from stifle to stifle, structurally, though, he needs to be laid in neater about his shoulder. He needs to flex better out of his hip and hind leg. Congratulations in class 23. First place exhibited by Devery Darbin. Second place, Justin Ty Heath. Third place, Caden Fitch. And fourth place, Caden Fitch. We'll now bring in class 23. This will be your final class of Market Steers. Here we have a trio of calves that in my mind are different in their type and kind, but the one we're going to use as our class winner wins this class and does so quite handily. Not only is he the best balanced and the best structured, but he's still the most genuine in terms of shape. If you study him over his rib and loin, he's the most appropriate in his degree of finish. And he handles that mass and power as you stand in behind him with an impeccable structural base. Congratulations to that young lady. The next calf that's going to be here in second from the ground up you appreciate his foot and his bone. He's one that's deep-sided and practical appearing, and you like his balance in relation to his frame. Probably today he gives up plenty in terms of power. If I stand in to view the cattle from behind, he tapers back into his hip. He flattens through his quarter. And then we round out the class with a calf that's a wide-based. Um, he's big-pinned. You appreciate that about him. He's one to me, though. If we study him at the ground, we'd like to see him softer, uh, particularly on his pasterns. Congratulations in our final class here in your Market Steer Show. First place exhibited by Ella Weldon. Second place, Cody Heath. And third, Ryan Fadley.
Let's put our hands together for our market steer exhibitors out here. Uh, three exceptional class winners followed by the respective seconds uh, for sure. And this has been a quality show all the way through and probably waning down to the last few comments that I'm going to make. And again, I would be remiss if I didn't thank the people that asked me to be out here this morning and sort through a tremendous set of cattle. Uh, with that said, I thought the, the show was really good in the market uh, show. We don't need to go back through and, and talk each one of them. I think they all have a balance, a pressure but they still follow some market fundamentals of shape and uh, appropriate degree of finish. I think there's one out here that takes that to the next level and, and combines it with some structural integrity and some balance and some quality. The young lady that won the last class will be your champion. Let's give her a big hand. Congratulations, your champion market steer exhibited by Ella Weldon with BGB Hat Track. And the reserve champion market steer exhibited by Devery Darbin with Darbin North Sparky. Congratulations to all of our miniature Hereford exhibitors and a special thank you to our judge today. As we finish up the day, we have a champion pair of bulls here uh, that these exhibitors brought, and let's give them a hand. I, I know what trouble it can be to bring a multiple bulls to a show, and they deserve recognition. As far as the bulls go, as you think through how we did them today, uh, the biggest bulls, one that we liked in terms of his power from the ground up, his foot size and his bone, and then a tremendous amount of uh, future in the in the bull calf here. Uh, he's good balance. He's flat shouldered. He's long out of his hip. Let's give them a big round of applause as we end the day. Here. Congratulations to Emmy K. Barato with her first place pair of bulls.